I can't say when the first time I made challah was. As long as I can remember, my mother put a piece of dough into my hands for me to play with, to touch, to feel, to explore, to learn. At some point in my life, when I stopped squishing it into my mouth or on the floor, that piece of dough was baked for the first time. That was my first challah, and I've been making it ever since. It's in my bones, in my blood, in my DNA. When I was asked recently what my favorite Jewish food was, of course the answer was challah, because what's more Jewish than challah? The ceremony of making it, the mitzvah of taking challah with all its spiritual importance, is one of the special mitzvahs given to women to do. The recipes may have differed over the years, but when I make challah, I'm connecting to the women, the matriarchs of their families that came before me throughout the generations, who made challah for Shabbos. Yes, it may be Wednesday, but this is part of my preparation for Shabbos. Thank you, Hashem, for freezers, because I bake enough challah for three to four weeks at a time, depending on how many guests we have for Shabbos. Once these challahs are completely cool, I'll seal them in a plastic bag and freeze them, taking them out on Friday to defrost at room temperature for our Shabbos meals. If you'd like to make my challah, the recipe is on my blog. It's a water challah style, meaning the dough itself doesn't have any eggs in it, I like to brush with egg wash and sprinkle with sesame seeds, but that can be omitted if you or someone you're baking for doesn't eat eggs. 